For this effect, you want some kind of footage that has a clean background that you can key out. I'm going to use some feedback here from pointing a camera at light and wiggling it around. So this is what we have. So in your effects, type in linear space C to get your color key. Drop that on, click your dropper, and go into the dark area. And that will clean everything out from the background so you just have this light. And control D to duplicate. Zoom in really close so you can see the number of frames and just drag this forward. Let's just try three frames. Duplicate it. One, two, three. Duplicate. One, two, three. And what you want to do is just create sort of a staircase that steps down. And you'll know when you play with it how long you'll want it to be. Just try to make everything evenly spaced. One, two, three. And go back to your first layer. Drag everything back so at the starting point all the layers are visible. Otherwise you're going to see them come on sort of one at a time. So what we've done here, just play a quick preview. The top layer is furthest ahead and every subsequent layer beneath it is delayed by three frames. The distance in time is uniform. The overlap is created by the difference in position and shape of this particular object just over the course of time. And you could do this with say a dancer or someone running you could animate simple shapes in After Effects and do this anything at all that you can get rid of the background of you can make a really clean trail and if you want to increase this overlap say if this is not enough go to the second layer down and use position scale or rotation to just change what you're doing rotate each layer by 11 so 11, 22, 33, so on and so forth. So every frame is separated by three frames in time and by 11 degrees of rotation. And you can mess around with scale and position as well. So we get in a little bit closer and just play our preview. This is what we have so far. And for the specific rainbow trail effect, just press Control alt y to make an adjustment layer. Type SAT in your effects to get new saturation really quick. Drop that on. And for a really subtle gradation from one layer to the next, use a low number like 10, 15, 20. Pull that down. Control d Control d Control d All I'm doing is duplicating the adjustment, which is a 20 degree adjustment and putting on top of every layer. So the adjustment layer will affect every layer that's underneath it. So the effect sort of will stack. So what you can see is we have a pretty smooth transition from blue into purple into magenta into red into orange. And if you don't want that, let's just delete these and do it again. You can use a really high number like 65 which is really stark, really crazy. And just do the same thing, pulling these down. So now the difference between each layer will be much greater. And this is almost clowny looking. And maybe you want a lot of contrast like this. So we're seeing lots and lots of overlap happening. Everything is evenly spaced in terms of time and color and rotation. All we did to create this was key out the background and make a bunch of duplicate layers staggered by three frames. You can use less if you want them to follow closer or more if you want them to spread out with uniform scale, rotation, and color adjustments layer to layer.